In this video, I'll show you how to augment an existing transect survey with new transects in order to maintain a desired impact area discovery objective. I'll begin by opening a VSP project file that has my site already set up. Next, I'll go to the Augment UXO design, which is found under the menu Sampling Goals, Find Impact Areas, and Create Transects to Augment Previous Surveys. The first page contains the target area and survey pattern setup. I won't spend much time on this page, as you can get detailed information from video UI110. I'll just mention that the transect pattern is set to parallel for this design type, but I will set the transect width to 1 meter. The next page of the design dialog contains information about transect spacing. Again, you can find detailed information about this page from video UI 110. To make this demonstration simpler, I will set manual transect spacing to 1000 feet. This 1000 feet spacing would be the result of an impact area discovery objective, and the augmented transects we will be adding will be placed to maintain the 1000 feet distance between transects. Notice that when I click Tab or Enter, on the Gaps and New Transects page, my transect spacing was imported from the previous page. I will need to import the course over ground transects from my previous geophysical surveys. You may also use existing road or trails if they have been used as a basis of parts of your survey. The next step is to find gaps in my transect coverage. I will choose to only keep gap areas if they are larger than 2 acres in size. When I click the Find Gaps button, VSP expands all the existing transects out to my spacing distance, 1000 feet in my case and marks out patches on the map where the transects don't reach. These are called gap areas. This can be a lengthy process, depending on the complexity of the site and survey transect pattern. The dialog shows some basic statistics about the number and size of the gaps. You can find information about an individual gap by right-clicking on it in the map view. The final step is to add new planning transects on the gap areas. I'll click the Apply button to create the transects. VSP finds the most efficient parallel transect pattern to cover each gap area with transects spaced 1000 feet apart. In practice, it can be useful to connect the transects into continuous paths. I'll check the box labeled Connect Transects Together and click Apply again. You may also need to find connections from existing transects to the new transect paths. I'll check the box labeled Attach Transects to Existing Paths and click Apply again. VSP finds the shortest connections from the new path ends to the existing transects. With these new transects in place, you can meet the impact area discovery objective you defined on the Transect Spacing tab. Thank you.